Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to episode 8 of uh, LBJ Tree. As you can see, compared to the pre to the previous tree or episode where we did our Benny Boy, now we're still doing the Great Society on LBJ, Lyndon Baines Johnson. And as you can tell, we're having trouble with the West Africa War and a failure by the in Indonesia Civil War. But as you can tell, I also have, let's say, hmm, a management tool. I haven't really bothered using it because I didn't want to, like, damage the game or anything. But let's see how we'll fare when we use it on our enemies. Who knows? Okay. Well, that... Ah, uh, here we go, a good RDC campaign. Results of our most recent regional campaign generally have been generally positive. Fundraising and cash on hand are meeting our positive expectations. Meanwhile, our candidates are performing well in the polls and have generally avoided making gaffes and unforced errors while out on the campaign trail. We should be on a good position to win a number of races coming November. Our campaign will significantly increase in the New England states. Let's see... Ah, here we go. Man, much of an MPP with a few prog with only a few progressives really are taking over the uh, man. Huh. States' rights, Louisiana, pro Louisiana progressives, state. Much of them are just nationalists and states' rights, which uh, I could actually understand. Lesson. Lesson from Canada, and the MPP runs a miserable campaign in the Upper South. According to front pages of local papers around the country, re the recent MPP regional campaign collapsed in spectacular fashion. <laughs> Between poor fundraising numbers, lower voter enthusiasm, and series of bizarre gaffes by MPP candidates, we will likely to be able to do well in November for their failures alone. Isn't there a German word for this feeling? MPP's campaign will lower their support in the Upper South. Huh. Lessons from Canada. Political scene in Canada was far more interesting than jo Jonathan Mosfeld would have expected before coming for his studies. He suspected that few would have thought a man studying theology would take interest in political matters of a day, especially as a visitor from Greenland. In that regard, he was somewhat unique. Sometimes for better, sometimes or the worse, depending on who asked. Or depending on who you would ask. In between his theological studies, he spent a good amount of time learning what could what what he could about the Quebecois and their struggle for independence. Every Canadian had an option on Quebec. He leaned. He learned the hard way that it could be con contentious very quickly. All the same, he couldn't help but resonate with with their goals as he saw parallels with his own homeland. Quebec was one, was seen as an integral part of Canada, and while Greenland didn't have the same importance to the United States, they were effectively an unofficial territory. Was it possible that one day they would become their own nation despite this? No doubt the Quebecois wondered the same, the same thing. And even though their situation was more difficult, they were still trying. It inspired him enough to renew the fight. He knew that Greenland would never receive independence until the issue was forced. They needed people to start demanding it. No one really filled that role now. He knew supporters exist. Once he finished his studies here, he resolved to pursue this. He saw a future where Greenland was free from foreign control. If his experience in Canada showed him anything, it... It was that it was going to be a long and difficult road, but nothing worth doing was ever easy. They just had to keep pushing forward. Huh. All President's Men blows the lid on the off on the box office. Wow. A critical success despite our failures. Okay, let's see if we can how you say test the state management tool, cause uh Okay, let's decrease the speed a bit. Mark the states. Or actually, mark all the states of Suami. And put it and take it into the permeous the government's hands. Yeah, that's right. I'm actually just I'm actually just doing this for the lols now. Ooh, I wonder if I could try and do that for France, since technically they're losing anyway. 
the Republic of Dahomey. No, actually, uh, clear all the marks. Let's see. Mark all states. Yep. Because why the heck not? <laughs> Transfer ownership to France. <laughs> because why not? I love being a sneaky dummy. If you don't like it, then leave. Okay, okay, let's see here. Toggle weapon shipments, motorized equipment. Keep sending shipment of arms. Raid PPLN. Expand oversight programs. Ah, search and destroy. Don't need to worry about stability in the there for now. Fortify the Oricano region. Alright. Let's see who are the Fran France's allies. Canes and the French. Oh man. We did the Head Start program. Let's see how this will go. Hmm. Sit down with the teachers' unions or assess materials needed. Hmm. Let's see here. Expanding on civil rights. Hardline Republican support will decrease by 10 because... Stop the gapping metrics or revisit the WMD bill. We'll sit down with teachers unions for this case. We'll try and see what we can do. Funding the CM the CMCS. Social spending will increase by 1%. Adding expenses will reduce our support among voters in conservative states. Okay, let's see. Let's see yearly surplus. Oh, good. We got a yearly surplus of seven percent, twenty set of almost five point six percent, and our inflation is down from five all the way to close to three three point forty nine, which is actually impressive. I also help added more troops in into the fray. <laughs> Ethiopia defeated the Oromo. Oh wow, that's cool. Ah, here we go. Establishing the Head Start programs. To achieve his dream of eradicating poverty, President Johnson established the Head Start program. This initiative under auspic auspices of the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare is just the first step of what is hoped by many f for the Johnson administration. In an effort to improve the plight of young children in economically disadvantaged neighborhoods, and particularly those of minority groups. Head Start offices, summer programs, and evaluations to ensure children from low-income families succeed in adjusting to elementary school and are sufficiently developed, cognitively speaking, and in order to succeed in the school. Although opposition from conservative circles have been somewhat muted, partly due to the fact that popular support for Head Start is fairly high. More vocal opposition to further enroachment on state's prerogative of education will only mount when the administrative chooses to move that way. This will improve the school system in the country. Rural voters will support the Democratic Party within a span of four weeks. Hey, that's that's at least cool. 
let's see our he let's see the healthcare stuff. The Great Society, a robust safety net, but we have a ray of hope. Poverty monthly change, pension control, education, and employment. Mm, they're all doing good. They're all doing good. You know what? I'm gonna mark all the states and just have the Iniesta government just take it all over. Because why not? <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm just gonna do what's called a pro gamer move because I don't really care. Now let's add some troops for them so we can spawn divisions. Mm -hmm. There we go, we're spawning some troop divisions so at least they won't. Aw <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be good. So while the Permiesta government is handling that, Oh man, France, you're, you're just having some trouble. Delete those type of units, let's see. Hmm, the Republic of Dahomey. Aw oh, man, Japanese proposal and negotiations I lost again? Okay, so given that the Battle of Italy is a bit... Six points. Oh, I actually won the issue? Well, I didn't expect that, but at least it's something. Let's see, balancing our budget. Well, at least we're still doing good on the... Uh, and no, I'm not disavowing the Dixiecrats, because I still need their support. Okay, spot check on state programs. Let's see. Inc now, let's see. Reorganize the programs. Improve safety net. Ah, here we go. If we... Okay. Reorganizing the programs. That'll be a better option. Let's see how that'll work. Maximum investment. There we go. We're gonna put up our maximum investment on this because I really, really don't wanna. Well, you know. A terrible RDC campaign. Well, mistakes were made. Okay, well, let's try. Let's. Let's try in the upper southern states. Let's see how that'll work. Mm -hmm. The MPP ran an incredible campaign. Wow, that is just... Ah, here we go. The free French forces, let's see. And managing the state tool. Who, who cares at this point anyway? Transfer ownership of all of it to France, say. And since I'm going slow, what's this? Mao now Koi Visto elected Finnish Prime Minister. Results came in for the 66 ele legislative elections in the Parliament of Finland. Destabilized due to ongoing reverberations of a Karelian war, the Social Democrat Mao now Koi Visto has emerged as Prime Minister of Finland. 
a change soon comes into the forest. Well, I could at least help give... Okay, well, maybe I can help give Finland a little bit of buff. So, like, we'll... We'll give him a little... At least a little bit of extra, um... Troops. Oh, polls are updated. Let's check up on the horse race. Yep, we're just giving Finland a little boost because I really don't like the way how the West Russian war, how the rest of Russian area looks right now. Wait, um, clear all the marks. Mark the state here. Mark this state. Ooh, and this state too. We'll give it to the homie. And then we'll add 10 divisions to each for the Republic of the homie. Just to see how things are shaking up. And just like that, we'll see how our government wins. Share sensitive. Oh, okay. Hmm. The Finland has defeated the Murmansk People's Republic. Okay, let's try Department of the Army. I'm not going to go into the uh, few things there. So let's see how we can do this. Spot check state programs. Clean up. Ooh, clean up. Oh, fun cleanup programs. That'll be cool. Environment is middling. Expand media care coverage or disavow nuclear. Sideline anti nuclear activists. This will help environmentalists in the country but, and it'll increase, our, it'll increase our image among conservatives but decrease among the conservatives. Encourage environmental protection movements. Sanction ocean dumping. Or combat... We'll try and see... Let's see. We'll try and combat water pollution. We'll keep it strong so as to not upset the, you know, various other states. Encourage bilingual education. We'll trend more conservative on issues of... This will improve civil rights in the country. Hmm. Expand social security eligibility. Rules, let's see, this will improve, but all voters will still economically liberal and responsible and labor Democrats will, uh, let's see if we can do that. Hmm. Assessment of the teacher unions. One of the planned landmark pieces of legislation President Johnson hopes to pass is the Elementary and Pre Secondary Education Act. While the draft is strong enough, the, e the ESEA will increase federal funding to schools across the board, as well as focus on parental involvement in public education. While, while his allies in Congress craft a bill itself and marshal congressional support to ensure its easy passage, the President has elected to meet with the most powerful teacher unions in the country to ensure their support for his newest initiative. One of the most notable demands with the unions is to, is to relax federal control over the methods by which teachers may engage with students and teach coursework in the classroom. There has already been strong opposition to such a proposal, as it may allow dis dissent and un-American ideas to proliferate among young children and teenagers in the school. Furthermore, promise promising such a reform may weaken our support among conservative Republicans and the staunchest anti-communist and anti-fascist. Others, however, po poise it as a way that may, may a new radical step in allowing personalization of education tailored toward the individual needs of students and may Im overall improve quality of education for our young people in their way. Hmm. Let's see. Well, reform in education is part of a parcel to establishing the Great Society. Well, let's see. Hmm. This will 
let's see, this will hurt some of our more conservative Republicans in there. So, let's see. We need to relax federal control over... We need to relax federal control over methods, which, um... So, relaxing federal control, let's see. Well, perhaps maybe with the... Maybe with federal control over, we shouldn't really go too far on this one. Union voters will will support more to the Democratic Party. Maybe perhaps we shouldn't really go too far on the on the teacher on the teacher unions. Yep, let's see. A great society. Discontent towards Africa. Okay. Bomb the PPLN. Uh, let's see. Oh, expand, uh, search and destroy. There we go. Fun jungle warfare. Coordinate with Australian patrols. Yep, you can say that the discontent is very so low, it's not even funny. And our war support is technically very high. Like, I did not even expect that. Oh, but I could see that, uh... Well, Somalia, Ethiopia, and Eritrea have just broken up, as well Kenya, but at least they're being left alone in that regard. And the Permiesta Military Council actually... Well... They're actually still beating the, they're still beating up Indonesia's butt, so all I have to do is just focus on focus on this area right here. Hmm, what if I gave them extra a template? 100% equipment. And 100% and 100% experience. A wedding in CC Muity. Congrats, congrats to the newlyweds. Hmm. There we go, at least that'll keep them busy. At least that'll keep the West African front busy. Let's see. Keep balancing the budget. Appease Walter Rufa. Hmm. I know I want to disavow the Dixiecrats, but it feels like if I just do so, I'm just actually just gonna cause more problems for myself. So I'm not gonna disavow the Dixiecrats. Worst mistake. Hmm. Let's see how many, uh. Okay, we only gonna do just five at a time. Three, four, five at a time. I'm not gonna... Oh, I almost... Oh, I thought we were... Oh, I thought I did... I thought I wasn't even, like, still... Okay, okay, okay. Let's see how we'll do this now. So, uh, the Premiesta government is still going against Indo Indonesia, and France and its alliance are just now forcing, like, let's see here. The two C's concept. U.S. Navy faced two vastly different opponents on either side. One, the Imperial Japanese Navy, and the other, the Kriegsmarine. Okay, we okay, so we did a mediocre campaign. Let's see how we'll do here. Fifteen percent chance is a great success. The MPP run an incredible campaign in the Deep South. Well, well, that's kind. Well, that's kind of crazy. Ooh, but I especially love the Republic of Kazakhstan right here. I lo <laughs> and look at this lad right here, Sabit Muk Mukhanov. I'm I do apologize if I might have butchered the name. South African War stalemate. West African crisis is still ongoing. Let's 
the main character. It's funny how I have to appease Roofer to improve civil rights or minimum wage while I still have to improve civil rights for the Republicans at least, which is kind of weird. It's like facing two things on two different fronts. What? We need to define at least special provisions. Let's see here. Expanding civil rights. Now it's time to turn our attention to our fellow Americans long suffering under oppression. Hmm. Dixiecrats de support will decrease by 10, while hardline Republicans will decrease by 5. The, the MPP's voter suppression of African Americans tent will grow weaker. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll just start start it one time with this note. I'm not gonna go anymore. Where? America wins the issue again! Oh wow, I'm loving it. A good thing our our Good thing our coalition is very terrific on all fronts, from Hubert Humphreys, Labor Democrats, to Richard Russell's Dixiecrats, to Nelson Rockefeller's coalition support of responsible Republicans, the Barry Goldwater's hardline. All coalitions are terrific. Yes, Italy joins the free world! Italian-American communities across the United States are up in celebration as Italy officially signed legislation to join the OFN as a member despite immense Japanese pressure. With this move, the Italian people have struck a val valiant blow to the OFN's efforts to contain the dual menaces of Einheit's Pact and the Japanese Co-Prosperity Spear. The OFN has gained an important foothold in Europe, access to the Suez Canal, and access to some of the world's largest oil reserves in the Middle East. While the Cold War is still far from won, there's still a widespread feeling among the population things may be finally looking up for the forces of the free world. All voters will trend internationalists on the issue of foreign policy for 18 weeks, which if it's five weeks for every one, if it's four weeks for every one month, that will be like, they're like one week, one month is four, two months is eight, so four, eight, twelve, sixteen, that'd be like four months and a few days on trending on foreign policy will immediately slightly shift to support the Democratic Party. Woo! Oh boy. Wait, I gotta see. Wait, let me see the uh, factions. Oh boy. Oh, and a good thing too, because since Hungary sided with Italy, we actually got Hungary on our side too. Oh man, and we got our territory connected from South Africa all the way to like Italian North Africa. Oh man, Italy joins the OFN. The free world has just gotten much bigger, baby. Oh, I didn't notice this, but even the Algerian Union, a colonial government even, also joined the OFN? Huh, you don't see that every day. Huh, oh, a, a dependent member on the OFN. And an independent mender. Oh, it's our boy, Aldo Moro. But we really don't want to know what happens to him because we know what happens in the 1970s. Oh, the Chinese League actually... Oh, wow. Hmm, I wonder... what oh. What's going on? What happened? The polls are updated now. So we can check on the horse race. What's now happening? Wait, did, uh, did something go down with Indonesia, or was it with West Africa? So, like, give me a sign. Polls are updated. Oh. Oh, Premier's the Military Council, and, uh... Oh, look, it's our reformist boy, Antony Pinay. He's got the De Lovier plan, and he's gonna smash the OAS, because uh, the OAS are getting way too mad powerful for, powerful for Francis' taste. Like, they don't even follow government orders. That's how bad it is. Hmm, I wonder.
the National Protection Army. Let's see if we can uh, give him some extra. What, we ran a mediocre RDC campaign in the West Coast? Oh well, at least we'll at least we'll try better this next time. Let's try the Great Plains. At least it's the RD standhold. The MPP runs a lackluster campaign in Central East Coast. Oh wow. And it seems our liberalism really is growing so large. Engines of war. We'll keep the pressure going for China, because I love it. The Civil War. Okay. What's this? The state of New Granada? Oh no, the Colombian War just resumed! Oh! Okay, okay. This is gonna be a crazy big one. So let's see. Okay, so Venezuela is an OFN partner, so that means because OFN has a good relationship with this, New Granada, progressive liberalism, Oh well, I guess that means we'll have to leave to the f leave the fate of a. Uh... Let's see, send volunteers to the Colombian Revolutionary Union. Ah, okay, I see the FR seven eight. Okay, <laughs> okay, so the Colombian Revolutionary Union is our ally right over here because they have good relations with Venezuela. So, uh... okay, I see, I see your point. <laughs> The Permiesta Council broken the chains. For now, only peace. Victory for a free Indonesia and freedom Indonesia. Finally. <laughs> Mafia money, Stonewall Gin. Will open up to the queers. Wow. Okay, so this is like the the planning idea for Stonewall. Like in... Nice. The Free Republic of Indonesia. Now it's a it's a in the, it's sort of a member now for the OFN Spear, part of America. So, uh... <laughs> okay, six Semper Tyrannis. Got to keep up the promise, foreign resolve. Let wait. Let's see. I got to keep up. Keep foreign resolve. Okay, hawkishness is not less than a sixty. We're we're at 67. If I click on promising on foreign resolve, then I'm not... Then I may not get the... So I just want to make sure I'm playing it safe. I'm, I'm not gonna promise foreign resolve. Because if I do that, I want to make sure I promise hawkishness a bit first on the matter. Okay, let's see. Assess materials needed for teachers. Well... Our coalition is technically still terrific, so at least we're going, at least we're getting somewhere. Let's get, let's get these troops some extra, some extra, some extra buffs. Yep, that's right, we're gonna be giving them some extra troops, cause uh... I want to win this. I want to win this game as the United States, even though it sounds like as if I'm, don't I'm just basically speed rushing my way around it. Let's see. Oh, free events have already finished already. Let's see. Head start. The free French victory in West Africa. The torch of freedom in West Africa shall not be extinguished. Hoo hoo, boy. Seems like Free France really got its work cut out for it. Finally, I can breathe. Lessons from colo colonialist. From colonist. How about a hunting trip later? George. Uh, ooh, nice. Voters will trend more internationalists. We're just. 
We're just making sure we win wars left, right, and center. Thanks to a little bit of debuffing. Bomb the PPLN. Let's see. Air Force equipment. Motorized equipment. Ah. Ah, here we go. Expand developments. Nothing? Oh. Search and destroy. There we go. Sabotage new Grenadin supply line. Send in military, and we'll send in military advisors, too. Oh, wow. Wait, what is this? The Second Patriotic Army under Ariclosimo. Oh, it's National Socialism. That, 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 that makes sense. <laughs> but it seems to us, our faction, but it seems to us we're definitely going to be winning this. A good RDC campaign, my boy. The MPP ran a good campaign in the Great Lakes. In the state of Texas, well, uh, things are going good. Oh, light bombing campaigns. This will be a good one. Let's see. Commit more troops. The military takes over in Ecuador. As faith in civilian government plummeted thanks to, in, thanks to inability to properly deal with the Colombian refugee crisis, Washington would vow to support the military favor to coup the Arosamian cousins. Thus, after a week, of, a week of planning, military would take over Quito and declare Junta headed by Marcos Guanda, Guandar Equies, promising wide-ranging reforms of various facets of both the economy and democracy, all while staying away from partisan politics. One can only hope that an evil cancels out the other. Yep, one can only hope indeed. Greatly, greatly increase military support. Let's see. Man, I'm having a lot of. Let's see. Ooh, trust in government will increase a little bit. Let's send in extra volunteers and also let's see if we can. There we go. <laughs> Italy and the OFN. Now we have a miscellaneous cough on our hands. <laughs> CIA operation forwarded. All right, good riddance. Material provisions. The final stage of the surrounding ESEA has begun. How much money should be committed to the program? The growing coalition of conservatives who find themselves increasingly opposed to presence education policies have requested a more watered-down approach appropriations co commitment to the bill. Lessening the strain on the federal budget can allow us to improve budgets for the Department of Defense or simply stave off any risk of, risk of budgetary defaults in the future. The President, allies, and Congress believe it's wholly likely for the bill to pass even with a stronger financial commitment to primary and secondary education. The question is whether the President wishes to further strain his relations with the powerful conser conservative lobby within his party. For Johnson, he would sooner scatter the most virtual virulent opponents to his agenda to the four winds. But as Johnson learned, in his years in the Senate, sometimes in politics, other considerations have to be made. Government is is best which is closest to the people, or no, 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 we, we really can't afford to agitate the conservatives as of now. Okay, so I guess I did the right move on that part. I can't just agitate the conservatives. It, it, it won't work. Okay, combat water pollution, let's see, expand Medicare coverage... This will increase our missile. Let's see. Um, expand Medicare coverage. Let's see. Um, ex expand the hearts. This will increase by one. Uh, polls are updated. Let's check on the horse race. Okay. Let's see. Encourage environmentalism, but it will increase upon... Ah, here we go. Spot check state programs. Oh man. I want my political power. Sorry, but I need my political power. I am so sorry. There we go. I love it when I get myself some tons of political power. I need it. Spot check state programs. Oh, expanding social security. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see. 
see. What else should I focus on? Revisiting the WMD bill. Social program costs or President Johnson will attempt to pass the bill through Congress. Let's see, a vote in hand. If we ensure the future success of our party is to face extremist elements of the MPP, we must court and assist African American community in making sure we're able to vote in every election. So many so any so many sovereign states within the union are still doing everything they can, such as literacy tests, poll taxes, and even mass lynchings to prevent African Americans from exercising their right to vote. We must put an end to this crime of oppression that we as a party have allowed to to fester for so long. Outlawing the literacy test. Let's see. I'm only going to make a small, small kind of way to the civil rights. I'm still, I, my impact on environmental is strong, but other areas are still weak. Let's see. Increase Medicare fund payments. Increase funding for Americans vote with their pocketbooks. It's the economy, dang it. Hmm. Encouraged bilingual, but they will more they will trend more conservative on the matter. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see if we can try and at least increase some. Nah. Okay, we'll try and do this one. So let's encourage bilingual education. Yep. Our education our education impact is weak, but at least we're doing something good. Let's see, foreign policy, expand training. Oh, the MPP ran a good, shh, everyone, I can't hear the TV. What, we ran a mediocre campaign? Oh, re-elected in the Pharaoh's democracy in action. Okay, I don't even know what his name is, so I'm not even gonna butcher it. Oh, wow. Okay, so now I see it's a toss-up between these states now, which is kind of actually funny now that I'm thinking about it. A vote in hand. Okay. Department of the Air Force. Air wars of decades past were fought with simple fighters and bombers, while basic principle of use to make planes use planes to make the enemy blow up hasn't changed much at all. Planes certainly have. Nowadays, helicopters and long-range bombers are the most important new components of a serious air force. These are two points of development that need to be focused on. Safety net, engines of war. Well, our education, healthcare, unemployment, pension, and poverty monthly change is actually doing a little bit of good. So at least we're keeping something else good. Let's see. Well, I still need to do, let's see, I st let's see if I can still try and do a tax hike on this. There we go. A long way from home, Jean Kirkpatrick. One thing was for sure, she was no longer in Oklahoma. A blazing torch indeed. Let's see, powering the grid, decrease in nominal GDP, 20 base, okay, let's see, 20 base rate, and let's see, oh, okay, I see, increase nominal, let's see, fighting poverty, money creation in inflation, okay, our debt to GDP is very, is very much down, so, uh, and our power and our power producing grid really is a uh, much to be desired in a good way. Okay, let's see. Sp let's see spend social surplus. Balancing our budget. Okay, we'll grant the South favorable committee assignments. Oh, elected Uruguay, we need to keep an eye on this.
Okay, let's see if we can promise foreign resolve, hardline Republican support. Well, it kind of downed our... Oh, James Eastland is now part of, is now part of like the Dixiecrat area. Oh, I guess they switch leaders, huh? Dixiecrat support will increase by five. Colin Russell. Let's see how far our hawkishness went down. Only the 6.5? Really? I could have room for one more to do, but let's see. We'll just do that and... Hmm. Hmm. Ah, here we go. To NSQS-23 sonar. Let's try that one. The conclusions gathered by the United States Department of Navy and Operation Silent Serpent has been helpful in determining shortcomings of the American Navy and Naval Doctrine. In short, report came to the conclusion American sonar capabilities were insufficient to detecting new silent running German submarines. Let's see. Senate elections will predict they're now to be moved to the previous election GUI tab. Senate elections are in and polls are now updated. Okay. The, the CRU has have now occupied Bogota, and I'm actually pretty happy for that. Okay, okay, this time, okay, let's try and counter pennies this time, because it feels, because now my inflation just shot up from a, from a 4.8 to a 5.57, almost. Which is kind of strange, because, uh, oh boy. Let's see. Now, the Elementary and Secondary Education Act. Let's see. President Johnson will attempt to pass the bill through, or we can at least wait a little longer, creating the Office of Economic Opportunity. Social network and stuff. Let's see. This will not grant well. A Day for Tears. Huh. Walt Disney died of lung cancer at St. Joseph Hospital in Burbank, California on 9.30 a.m., in he was 65 years old let us pay laughter for every tear shed ooh stop gap measures let's see this one hmm we'll, we'll reduce the quarters in the conservative states let's see improve let's revisit the WMD bill in 1945 senators Wagner Murray and Dingell proposed legislation to Congress to reform the nation's healthcare system, introducing known as the WMD Bill Program, which would have instituted a national hospitalization to all Americans. Unfortunately, in those times of strife, radical change was swiftly struck down before it could pass. Now it seems the bill's time has now come. Hmm. Nice. Japanese operative captured? Time to add more, how you say, troops to the equation. Is there even anything going on here? Because I could just use a state management tool and mark the state here and here to occupy, to give to the Oh, wait, what's this? Cameroon collapses. A pan-Africanism, a dream so dear yet so far away. Ever since their crushing defeat at the hands of the anti-PLAF coalition, Cameroonian African state tethered on the verge of collapse. The pan-African dream espoused by would-be revolutionaries abandoned by those who, who would most help want the Africans. Now for fledgling state, the dream is about to enter its death throes once and for all. Oh, wow.
now West Africa, now former Cameroon is in its own state of how you say social unrest. <laughs> I love it. Oh, wait. Did something happen? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let Did anything happen? Oh, no! The Western Revolutionary Front be creeping up. Be creeping up on Finland. I will not let that happen. I'll have to use my, how you say, secret weapon. Use a state manager managing tool. Wow. Reflect, then decide. Oh, wow. The OFN now carves the CAR. Oh, wow. The expected outcome. Wait, let's see how the map goes. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> so that means we got the, Bia the, Bi the Biafrican Republic. The Republic of Orungu, the Congolese Republic, State of Katanga, Zambia, let's see, uh, Nasia Land, Mozambique, Tanganyika, uh, Republic of Luoland, um, Republic of Rwanda, Republic of Burundi, and Uganda. Oh, and also Angola. Oh, and also Angola too. Hmm. Let's. That's cool. Let the old blood depart as they desire. Hmm. Let's see. And so ends all African adventure from war. Abrams and... Let's see. America has need still for them yet. And to do that, they need to help the U.S. government. America has need of them yet. I still... I'm still gonna need them. Because I really, really don't trust... How things will work out. Let's just say I'm trying to make sure that Finland behind the lines doesn't get squashed. Yep. Yep, I'm giving Finland a lot more troops just so it doesn't get squashed like a bug. I'd rather keep the war going for as long as possible for Finland, because, uh... Hey, hang on. Is there a campaign available? Oh. No? Okay, I was gonna say, let's see. Making progress on civil rights. Very weak. We're not disavowing the Dixie Crabs. I am not doing that. Hmm. We can increase Medicare payments a bit. What the? Expand social. Okay, okay, let's see. Okay, good. I did not disavow the Dixie Cr the Dixiecrats. I almost thought I accidentally did. I am not gonna disavow them. We're not doing a freeze involvement. Bomb the PPLN. Keep going. Expand social developments, and also give them motorized equipment. Let's see. Ooh. Huh. Incentivize insurance companies. Let's see. Office of Economic Opportunity. We'll create... We'll try and do that. Create the Office of Economic Opportunity. President Johnson's campaign to lift America's poor out of their hardship will be a massive undertaking from start to finish. Creation of this new bureaucracy and many accompanying programs necessitates coordination on a large scale. The Office of Economic Opportunity created on the President's orders will organize all of these programs and make sure that they, that every initiative we take runs smoothly. That's going to be a big Herculean effort for all 50 states. I'm 
the 1970s infantry kit has already been, uh, let's see. Advanced anti-tank weapons. Let's see. Hang on, hang on, did I forget something? Let's see. Foreign policy. A new party, a new Finland? The Belly Buster. Fund the reformist movement in the Reich. Let's do a bit of an intelligence analysis and large scale shipment to the Siberian National Republic. Let's see, helicopters and some old jets. Provide technical and industrial support. Oh wow, we have a budget of $850 million. CIA begins training of new officers, which will be a good idea. Let's see, head the firing line. Oh wait, we need to check our economy. Gotta keep counting our pennies. Let's see, what if I do military austerity instead? Spending. Oh good, civilian spending is now more, is now slightly a bit more than the uh, military spending. So at least that's that. Hmm. Our optics are the 20.5. But our trust in government is still at 60, and our hawkishness is at 60.5. Okay, healthcare and education are also weak, so, uh, at least we did one part which is strong. Yep, the Colombian Revolutionary Government, they're just now just beating up. Hmm, wait, let's see here. Operation is a success. Growing opposition. Create the Office of Economic Opportunity. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Outlaw literacy tests or debating the voting right. Let's see. Defining special provisions on the Voting Rights Act. Yep, we're basically going into voting rights now for a bit. But I really do like to know how I'll how I'll try this. Hmm. And since not much is gonna happen anyway, I'll just speed things up for for the Colombian Civil War. A call from Mr. Benny Boy. I'm sorry, where? That's the point, Muskie. The OEO is trying to solve a problem that's better handled locally. If the president keeps going on like this, we're gonna find we're going to find Republican voters slipping to George Wallace and his states' rights people. Some states can't help everyone, Senator. That's what we're that's where we come in, Muskie countered. Just because it's going to be difficult doesn't mean we should try. Nothing is ever going to be easy. To stop the spiral. They tried and that was the best they could do. Okay, let's see. Expand development programs. What else? Ah, search and destroy. The conservatives are now grumbling. America will start to be tired of our agenda. Okay, well, okay, well, at least I'll stop a bit for then.
after that. So I'll f- just focus on the 1964 tree of technology and stuff. History maker, a symbol of pro- progress from New England. Ah, yes, uh, African American Edward Brooke is headed to the governor's mansion. Shore up the OEO. Peacetime manpower recovery. England and Wales at war, and Isle is ablaze once more again. Oh, wow, Spears right. Could really be growing big. At least Romania didn't side with anyone. And I believe Bulgaria was right. Okay, now we're debating the Voting Rights Act. Congress has intervened to discuss terms. Let's see. Allow some special provisions. Actually, the general provisions, let's see. Let's see. I think basically just the basic general provisions are fine. No, we're not going to push the idea further on the issue. So I'll just keep pushing up the idea with the, um, Hellborn Division. Oh, the Commonwealth of England brought himself one step closer to... England just defeated Wales. Another country fallen to the pros- prospective British Empire. Oh, that's, that's kind of not fortunate. The Republic of Nigeria defeated the Republic of Biafra. Oh, wow. This is going to be a fun, wild ride for Africa in the meantime. Let's see. The X-16 Acquisition Program. The American Army, as much as the Army Ordnance Corps ha- hates to admit, it's behind the curve in small arms tech. Still, lumbered ar- still lumbering around with heavy full-size rifles in the form of an M14, the Germans and Japanese rushed ahead with light rifles, firing small-caliber high-velocity cartridges. Now the, an- now the United States may have actually an answer for that. The AR-15. The Armalite AR-15. Huh. That's actually pretty cool. The Armalite 15. That's gotta be something. No enemy cipher is being detected. Upgrade has been researched. Oh, all the upgrades have been researched. Okay. Okay, let's see now if we can at least try and... Uh, CIA operation forwarded. Good riddance. Army coup in Peru now? Another domino falls. In the wake of tanks throwing... Oh my god, this is going to be crazy. Okay, the Army and Secondary Education Act. Let's see. Let's see. talk. Let's see. We'll t- talk with the. Per- we'll talk. Let's see if we can try and talk with the Republicans on the issue. <laughs> Cooperative Commonwealth Federation victory in Canada. The mice have elected one of their own. Huh. All the Democrat... None of the 21 MPP National Senators support our bill. There seems to be no room for further compromise. Let's see. Progressives... All Most of the Democrats support our bill. 13 out of 27 Republicans don't bother wanting to vote, vote for our bill, which is kind of surprising. Visa are the voyages to boldly go where no man has ever gone before. Okay, let's see. Our okay, our inflation's going down to five point three, which is something I like. Let's see how uh, the beach the Beach Boys really smile. I'm picking up good vib- vibrations from this. Nice.
Let's see if we can try and talk with the MPP progressives on the issue. Certified gold. The image is finished victory in the Kralian War. The, that, the image is one thing and the human being is another. Golberto Alve Alvando dies. Even in death, he may yet live on. Yep, Finland just was able to win. I was actually able to figure it out. Expo 67 it opens in Montreal. Let's all go to the Expo. <laughs> Operational six The Republic of China stalled the flames and has been restat- The exam- Oh, man. Schools are back in session. Community Action Initiative. Patriotic Front Victory in 1967. Pro progress in Asia. You sure about that? Oh good, our inflation just went down more. 1976. Okay, send arm shipments, send bombed PPL in there, send... Okay, I know that's a lost cause, but hey. Search and destroys. I know much of Haiti is already a lost cause because I haven't been paying attention, but this Haitian bush war is just so annoying. I hate it so much. The Sara Republic? Kind of a funny name for a republic. Oh, we're already in 1967? I did not even realize. State management tool for the... Actually... Oh, wow. The Colombian Revolutionary Union. Wait a minute, so does it- Ah, okay, I see what they did there. They are our past. Let's see. Okay, education is sort of middling, but okay, that's at least something. We still ain't disavowing the Dixiecrats, so I'm not doing that. Outlawing literacy tests. At least we're only halfway, half, we're only like a little bit less than halfway there with our trees, so uh, yeah. Which is kind of cool. Transfer ownership, because why not? <laughs> yep, we're just adding more troops unnecessarily. Time for the final big push. The Republic of Euro Euro but Question of Independence, let's see. I can promise you we will have a backing you will have backing of the United States. Do not give in to Bustamon's grandstanding. Oh, so now this time the referendum is actually held in 1967. I recommend you strongly turning Bustamante's votes against him. Oh wow, so 
Okay, so I guess it means the votes were actually held back to 1967, which I actually find pretty surprising. Give the South to, um... Oh, wow. I did not actually expect them to, like, go crazy like that. Temporary tax hike. We gotta pay for this war. The weighing dice rolled. American diplomacy is at work. Okay, let's see. Where is it? Oh, wait, no, I forgot. It's right here. Let, uh, I forgot. Bro broadcast pro-Federation propaganda. Let's see. Black, let's see. Bro. Dialing back intervention. The independence referendum. The independence referendum has a 41, 43% chance of passing. Oh, wow. Bri bribe the leaders. Raid the PPLN. We're raiding the PPLN. We're doing this now. No, not full on communists. No. Okay. The violence is still at 20, but. Oh, violence is at 99, but now it's just gone to like. I don't. I don't know why, but. Outlawing the literacy tests. Hmm. If I mark the state, will I still be able to win? Hmm. Maybe. But I don't want to tempt it. Hmm. <laughs> this is so crazy. Joining the picket line. Promise on foreign resolve. The Canadian Sentinel. Happy birthday, Joyux anniversary du Canada. Speak to the moment. Don't worry, bunny. We're not shooting for anything less. Increase mil Increase military deployment. Broadcast, let's see. <laughs> Currently, US backing is significant, and foreign interference is at. Whoops. Foreign interference is at a minimum. Okay. Let's see how things are going. Because, uh. Hmm. Hang on. Gotta do something here. All right, there we go. The Colombian Revolutionary Union is still fighting, though. It's like, it's like crazy. They are our future. The future of, well, I don't know. Anyway, fellow peeps, this is where I'm going to have to end the episode for now. So I know you're thinking this was a really heavy long one, but, um... I know that the conservatives are grumbling with our great society, but at least we actually went along and tried to, like, space it out a few times while also focusing on 64 military stuff. But hey, we won in Indonesia and West Africa for France, so I'd say that's a win. And we're almost winning in Colombia for some reason. 
So yeah, hope you great society folks and internationalists like this video, share, subscribe it with friends and family, and have a good one.